Hey everybody, uh, this is Kelly. Uh, I'm a crochet mom for life. That's what I go by on YouTube on my little handle there. Um, this is kind of like my second video. I made another one, but I can't seem to get it uploaded, so I'm just going to make this one again. Uh, I live in Georgia, but I'm an Alabama girl. Uh, I'm 48 years old, and um, I'm married for almost, well, 17 years, together 18. We have one child, Dalton, he'll be 16 next month. And we have two children uh, from his first marriage. Um, we have a girl, she's uh, 23, and we have a boy, almost 25. And we have two grandkids, Brinley and Braxton. They're four and three, and they are rotten, but we love them. Um, uh, like I said, I'm, I live in Georgia, and um, I love to crochet. I'm obsessed with it. I've been doing it almost 30 years, and and um, it, it's just relaxing, and it's therapy, and I just love it. Um, I wanted to come on here, like many others, and just uh, talk about it and show you a few things that uh, I'm working on. Um, Everybody seems to enjoy the podcast. Um, I know I enjoy watching them. Um, I don't care if you just get on there for five minutes. I just love watching them. And um, I've got my favorites now. Um, there's a bunch of them. And I'm seeing some every day that I like. Um, but anyway, I guess I just wanted to talk about a few things that um, I'm working on and show you some things that I've completed. Um, one of the things that um, I've completed is uh, this little shawl. Well, it's not really a shawl. The pattern was for a shawl. But um, it's more like it was one skein. Because, you know, I got in on that Hobby Lobby clearance stuff. And it's one skein. So it's probably going to be one of them um, kerchiefs or cowls or whatever. But, um, it's a, um, granny shawl. And I, I can't even tell you what the pattern, but if you look up granny shawl, you're going to find all kinds of patterns for it. Fiber Spider has some great ones. And, um, because I like to watch him. But, um, you know, you just pin it around. And I don't wear these things. I need to start wearing them because I got a stack of them. So I'm, maybe I need to break out of my comfort zone and uh, start wearing them. But that's one little thing. It's um, Red Heart Color Scapes. And I think this was called Bangkok in the colorway. And it, it just made just a tiny one, you know. But, you know, it's cute. It really is. You know, if I break out my comfort zone and start wearing some Georgia boots, I may rock it. Who knows? But that's one thing I finished. And like I said, if you just look up Granny Shawl, you're going to find a pattern. That's the great thing about the internet is you can just find just about any kind of pattern you want. Um, and let's see. Another thing that I've completed is I've made a baby blanket. And it's just simple V-stitch. And it's right the uh, Bernat Baby cosmos or osmos or something but it's just v-stitch and um i think i got 13 skeins in it i started out just having like three skeins of this stuff and uh you know it takes more than three skeins to make anything any kind of blanket so but i made that and completed it it's for a little baby i know he'll be a year this coming october and I probably made it big enough so he can have it for a while and him mama can snuggle with it with him. But that's one thing I've, I've completed. And all you gals are uh, rubbing off on me because um, used to I would just do one thing at a time. But now i got several irons in the fire. And I've completed several things. Um, I made my, ba my babies, my grandbabies, some blankets and... Um, granny stitch blankets and those are real easy to make but i've also and i've already given it to them little, little uh things and um 
them little rogue rats, my little precious ones. But here's another baby blanket I've made, and this is for a great nephew I got in Alabama. Not even laid my eyes on them yet, or held them. I've seen pictures of them. But it's a granny stitch, and he like his mama and him likes the Auburn. I don't like Auburn. I'm an Alabama girl, Alabama Crimson Tide. But these are Auburn colors, or thereabouts anyway. Some people will probably say they Florida Gator colors, and I don't like them either. But, you know, everybody's got the favorite teams in the South. And I'm strictly Alabama. Because I was born and raised in Alabama. So we all say roll tide in my house, even though we live in Georgia. But, uh, anyways, this is a granny stitch blanket. I've got to get it in the mail. I'm going to have to wash it. And uh, get it all fixed up for them. But that's another thing I completed. And y'all had this uh, granny square. And it got bigger and bigger. And so I found it. You know, everybody's got them projects or whatever. So I just went ahead and I watched um, some of Bag O' Day Crystal's tutorials. I made a bunch of her stuff. But um, I kind of went by one of her patterns because I already had the granny square made so I just kind of modified it and I made a big old project bag and it holds a bunch of stuff in it big old jumbo skeins and stuff and project we, we just got back from a camping trip and I was able to take that and these are old bulldog colors which I holler for Georgia Bulldogs when they ain't playing Alabama but um yeah, I thought that was neat. And uh, Crystal, she has a lot. Of course, y'all know Crystal. She does a lot of things for the crochet community. And um, and I really have learned a lot from Crystal. But that's one thing I unexpectedly com completed. And some works in progress. Now, this is one of Crystal's, pro one of Crystal's ponchos. I think it was the easy poncho. And I, I was doing it over the winter. So I've not finished. I've not. I finished the poncho, but I'm putting this fringe on. Anyway. We going. Oh, I got hung up on my earring. Anyway. I may do this. Wear this out when I'm walking. I like to take walks in my woods. But it's simple project. And uh, I love this yarn. This is Red Heart. Red Heart's my favorite yarn. Um, Cause that, you know, I, Walmart's it for me. You know, I, one way is 18 miles, the other way is about 30 miles. So, and Hobby Lobby's 50 and 70. So, and Michael's is the same. So I don't get there very often. But so Walmart's it. And I like that, um, that skinny yarn, and I can't even tell you what it's called, but I know y'all have seen it. But, um, anyway, I got to finish putting some fringe on it. I'll be looking like one of them Daryl Dixon and Walking Dead. There's a walking around with a poncho on. Anyway, that's one thing I got to finish. I might get around to finishing it, I don't know. And I'm making my little man, my man, he's not little no more, he's taller than me, 16, be 16 next month. He like, he was liking Pokemon all summer long, and now he's switched up liking something else, but he wanted a Pokemon blanket. So this is a granny stitch, and it's going to be pretty long, you know, for him, because he's a big boy. And, uh, but that's one thing I'm working on. I do a little bit every, every night, just about try to anyway and then my hubby he wanted a stash buster he wanted a blanket with everything and so like in my last video which I if I ever get it uploaded it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger and it's um, the hardest thing about this of course is counting because you have to keep up with the chevron stitches my very first blanket I ever made I call them zigzags was this kind of blanket and it's just picking out the colors I don't know I have a hard time 
but I think I'm doing all right. And it it might get completed by September, maybe. But uh, that's one thing that I'm working on. And I really want to do another one, uh, Stash Buster, because I've got quite a bit of yarn now. I've hit these sales. Thanks to y'all showing me all y'all's yarn hauls. I've went to Hobby Lobby a few times. And um, then last week, Crystal got on Bag of Day, and she showed everybody these huge skeins of Mary Maxim. And I ordered me $100 worth of yarn. Lord knows where I'm going to put this. Because I don't have a lot of space. But and it's, I'm getting a lot of yarn in back there. But I bought eight big skeins of different colors. Um, I think I got one of these. And I got some uh, fuchsia, which I love the color fuchsia. I got some red and grays. A teal. A beige. But I've got a... I'm going to have to figure out something to do with that stuff. But those are um, some acquisitions. If, you, if um, that's like what they call them, acquisitions. Oops. And, um, of course, I bought some books. Everybody likes the books. I got a big old stack of books. These are 99 granny squares. I got this at uh, Hobby Lobby. And I got the scrubbies. One of these days, I guess I might get around doing something with them. I don't know. But, um, I really enjoy crochet. And, um, it keeps me sane. Uh, I don't know how much time I'm going to have, but probably fixing to wrap it up here in a minute. But, anyway, I wanted to give some shout-outs to some people I'm watching. I'm really enjoying watching Alaska Crafty, uh, Gal Victoria. Uh, Rose Lots Crochet, uh, Canadian Crotchter, Love, um, Miss Debbie, Miss Seta, Seta's Place, Cinnamon Stitches, I like to watch her, uh, On the Hook Crochet, uh, Fiber Spider, Summer's Tips and Stitches, Nona Stitching Lounge, I love to watch, Miss Rosie, and Brown Owls Crochet Fun, Miss Isla. She's uh, in Scotland right now, and I just love to watch her. Um, but uh, those are some things, um, some some um, channels I'm watching, and uh, I don't know how much longer I'm going to have, but um, I hope you all enjoyed my first video, or my second video, if I can ever get that other one loaded. If anybody's got some tips for me about how to get this stuff loaded faster, help me out here. I'm supposed to have the best of the best internet, but... It took all day to load that one video, so then I deleted it because nobody watched it. I don't know. But I'll have to try again, won't I? But anyway, um, I hope y'all like this and um, give me some comments and uh, like and subscribe. And and um, I'll probably be back. I, cut, I went ahead and bought me a little tripod here. And because uh, I enjoy watching a podcast and I uh, enjoy talking about it, and there's not really nobody around here that talks about crochet, so that's why I like to get on and watch these podcasts. And I've just discovered that with my fire stick, so I'm really enjoying it. But anyway, I guess I've just talked enough. And um, for this Monday, July the twenty second, I hope y'all have a great day and. Um, a great week and maybe we'll catch you next week and see some other things maybe I've completed. Alright, we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.